going on guys so here we have the Sig Sawyer cross so I've obviously done some things to it it doesn't come like this what you get out of the box is the gun and uh, you don't get a sight you don't get the bipod you don't get the suppressor you don't get the uh, the mount for the sight either all that is separately and it comes with a five round mag not a ten round mag so I've obviously outfitted this thing to where I like it this is the Sig Tango MSR 1 to 10 by 28 scope it's their LPVO I like it a lot. Um, I only have a 75 yard range to use this with. so And that is obviously ridiculously short for what this gun is capable of. This is a thousand yard rifle all day um, with a pretty good grouping as well. I haven't tested that yet. I've seen a lot of other people test it. I've talked to the people at SIG a lot. They've tested it over and over again and it's a phenomenal gun. So what I've done is about 75 yards and I mean I'm hitting water bottle caps off the top of a water bottle pretty easily um, it's not a very hard shot to make with this setup um, I really things I really like about the gun the trigger is very nice the two-stage trigger very nice trigger um, the bolt action is obviously really cool this is my first bolt action or precision gun I've ever had I've always been more into the ARs the AR pistols pistols themselves shotguns um, this was the first time I ever bought a precision rifle and let me tell you, this thing does not disappoint. So you have the collapsible stock here. If you can get it, it is kind of a pain in the ass every single time. You gotta push the button, break it free, collapses, and then locks in place. Um, you have to push the button in order to get that back over. It does lock the bolt in place as well, which is just kind of a nice little safety feature if you're one of those people that goes on, you know, like a hunting hike. I personally, like I said, I'm not really a hunter. Um, I just do this. I just have this set up for precision shooting. Um, Magpul bipod. Really like this one because it, it kind of gives you that play. So you can put the tension on the bipod, take your shot, and let it let that absorb some of the recoil for you. Very adjustable bipod as well. You can put these legs down anywhere you want. You can go side to side with it. Um, you can also collapse it up top just like this, like a standard bipod, but like I said, it's, just, it's very, uh, there's a lot of different movements to it, a lot of adjustments to it, and I definitely think that this was one of the better bipods to buy. Um, I forget the exact model, but I do know it's the Magpul one. And then up front here, obviously, we have the Sig Sawyer 762 SRD suppressor. Um, quick detach, which is really nice when you have multiple guns that are outfitted for this. Um, you just press this little button right here, not sure if you can see that. Press that, give it a twist, and off it comes. It is that simple. Um, throw it back on same way tighten it down and it's ready to go so um, yeah like I said SIGS LPVO good for what I'm using it for it the best part about it is it comes with this mount so like I said before I this is the first time I've bought a precision rifle it's the first time I've bought a bolt gun so I didn't have a mount um, so it comes with the mount in the scope and I believe I paid like 450 500 for it so altogether I thought that was a pretty good deal um, yeah, that's the SIG Cross, and uh, let me know if you have any questions about it, and um, definitely get one, definitely get one.